Now, Icelandic Met Office reports that the chances have increased that a new, a new magma tunnel will form under Fagradalsfjall. Uh, measurements show the acceleration of a land rise in Fagradalsfjall area. Signs, signs of land rise on the Reykjanes Peninsula were measured soon after the eruption of, at Little Hrutur and at the beginning of August um, this summer. And the land rise is in similar position as it was before the eruption on July 10th, which lasted for four, about four weeks. Um, the latest GPS measurements uh, now give evidence of an acceleration of uh, land rise in this area, as you see. Uh, you see Earth is rising also in Fagradalsfjall. Uh, this is from 7th of August to the 6th of October. And we might see, you see, the, well, that's where we had the most of earthquakes also recently, like, like west of Fagradalsfjall mountain. So we might see and there had been rock slides at Kaler here to the north. But uh, it's... It's very likely we will see volcanic eruption in Fagradalsfjall again, as it comes in series, as you know. But the question is when. So it might happen further north, even further north, because tectonic faults line run, uh, and they don't run straight, but uh, under the angle from Grindavik towards Fagradalsfjall um, area. So we might see volcanic eruption further north. It's quite possible. Quite interesting things start to happen, especially in Fagradalsfjall area. This uh, big mountain here in the middle is called Fagradalsfjall, and it come, it's from the ice age, from the subglacial eruption uh, in ice age, on, on the edge uh, of ice age and Holocene some uh, 11,000 years ago when this volcano erupted. And then we had uh, uh, volcanic eruption 2021-23 uh, in this area, as you know, Gelingadalu is just here to the east um, of this mountain. And now we start to have seismic activity there, west of Fagudlasvat mountain, very close to Trail B. Trail B is here, uh, just uh, some uh, one kilometer north where the Trail B um, was going. When we hike it to Gelingadalu, just west of Gelingadalu, we have series um, of earthquakes. And as you know, there are some tectonic faults on the top of the mountain right here. And we even had uh, one earthquake uh, here close to Little Hrutur, um, uh, next to Thranskjöldr uh, Shield Volcano, which flooded 200 square kilometer, kilometers back 7,000 years ago. In uh, some deformation um, took place also in Keller. So this activity looks uh, quite um, interesting around Fagradalsfjall. It is picking up. Perhaps we will see uh, a magma outbreak, a new eruption here, which is very likely. We would expect it, of course, within the time frame of 11 months, as it as it used to happen. In the past years, some almost one year period, but it can come quicker than that, of course. And if we have a volcanic eruption here, it might release all this tension, um, which accumulated also in Greenland. Both systems are very close uh, to each other, and there's no doubt that they are interconnected. It's probably the same uh, piping network underneath which connects all those systems as tectonic faults run exactly this in this diagonal uh, line across Reykjanes Peninsula. There was also earthquake activity at Fjotl Mountains and Sulphur Mountains here north of um, Lizarvat Lake further, um, further east. That's where also we had frequent volcanic eruptions in in history and in the last few thousand years. So still, the Reykjanes Peninsula still seems quite active, as you see. And uh, remember when we had Little Hrutur eruption in July, there was an earthquake activity, a lot of earthquakes here in the ocean close to LD Island. And there is no doubt they are all connected. So we might see the release of the tension, not necessarily north of Grindavik, but it can happen also in Fagradalsfjall, where we have a land rise, as you know. Now, yet another news from Iceland. 
you know about Mount Kenler, uh, which is uh, north of Fagradal Svratl, actually not that far from Little Rotor, where we had volcanic eruption in the summer. Now, as a result of earthquakes and the seismic activity, uh, there had been a rock fall uh, on this mountain. Rocks the size of mobile ho home have fallen on the Dupavat slate, and the top of the mountain, Kaler, has moved a little bit. And there is also an old crack uh, that is, uh, keeps uh, growing nearby there. This is stated by the police uh, or in Switzerland of Southerness uh, on Facebook, where people are considering trips to Reykjanes Peninsula and are warned of changes in the landscape due to the earthquakes in the last few weeks. So the entire area is not quite safe. Fagradas Fiat, the Grindavik area is not quite safe for hiking, as you can imagine, when the uh, rocks, boulders, the south of uh, mobile home are falling around. 